welcome back everybody to some more Hearthstone. My name as always is Maxwell and today we're going to be opening some packs of cards. So I made a short video where I opened 7 or 8 packs and said that I was intending to buy uh, in bulk 40 packs. And if that was something that you guys would have been interested in watching then uh, I decided to hold off on opening all of the packs until I can make a video about it. So that is this moment. Uh, I've gone ahead and I've bought 40 packs of cards and we're going to go ahead and open them together and see exactly what we get. Uh, if any of you are waiting for the um, the Warlock basic deck video, that's probably going to be tomorrow as I've still got some finishing touches to put on to that. I'm still not 100% happy with the way that it plays. Look at it. Impatiently shaking on the left there. Right, without further ado, let us get down to it. So we're going to go considerably quicker than... Uh, oh, there's an epic. going to go considerably quicker than we went last time, just because we've got 40 to get through. Although I am still going to do it slow enough so that we can see exactly what we're getting. Leave it open like that. And uh, what is this? Murlocs. So all of the Murlocs have plus two, plus one. That's pretty good, actually. So uh, if we get some... Uh, these Murloc cards may go ahead... And uh, make a Murloc deck. So just one rare this time. And quite a lot of um, Warlock cards. Although the Warlock deck that I'm putting together is just a basic deck. Master of Disguise. Give a friendly minion stealth. That's not bad. 4-4 four, four for 4 mana. That's a fairly, uh, fairly good card actually. Oh, oh. Oh, is that two rares and an epic in the same pack? Well, Thought Steel for the Priest. That's almost certainly going to be going into my non-basic Priest deck. Uh, when your opponent plays a minion, reduce its health to one. The first rare is Blessed Champion. Double a minion's attack. That's pretty damn good. Whenever you cast a spell, summon a 1-1 one, one Violet Apprentice. Obviously a mage card. Uh, your hero... Your hero power becomes deal 2 damage, if already in shadow form, 3 damage. So, Alright, so that's a shadow form for the priest, that's pretty good. That's probably nice to have on an all-out attack kind of deck. Let's see what we have here, just one rare. Explosive Trap, Earth Shock, Wind Fury, Harpy, and uh, Youthful yeah. Brewmaster. Oh, another questing adventurer. So I wanted two of these because these things in the priest deck uh, would be absolutely brilliant because uh, the fact that the priest deck's kind of a, a low mana cost deck, so you, you're going to be playing a lot of cards in a turn. If you've seen me play any ranked, then you know that by sort of turn 14 or 15, you've drawn so many cards, you're playing so many things. Uh, what's that? Shadow Step. Tauren Warrior, still good as well. Uh, a 2-3 taunt with an enrage. So I think we're going to be putting that in instead of the Iron Fur Grizzlies. Loses an attack, but it's got the enrage and it's still got the taunt. Freezing Trap Mana Worm, that's nice for a mage. Yeah. Obviously it's mage only. And Blizzard, another mage card. Nice. Let's see what we've got here. Just one rare again. I think we've used up all our luck on that two rare one epic yeah. uh, pack. Defender of Argus. Battle cry, give adjacent minions plus one, plus one, and taunt. That's pretty damn good, actually. May look at uh, squeezing that in somewhere as well. Obviously, once I've gone through all of the classes, and uh, the plan is basically I want to make a. Anything here? Naturalize, destroy a minion, your opponent draws two cards. So I suppose it's only one mana to do that. That's a bit harsh. But the demolisher at the start of your turn deal two damage to a random enemy that's pretty damn good but the plan is to go through all of all uh, all of the classes and make one basic deck guide video for each of the classes just so that uh, once you're starting out you can have a oh a golden common whenever you play a card with overload gain plus one plus one nice shaman ability there and divine favor draw cards until you have as many in your hand as your opponent uh, so yeah, I want to make a basic deck guide for each class just so that you guys coming in can just take a quick look at it and get a good starting deck uh, that you can uh, start to play with. Iron Beak L, fairly good. Give a friendly minion divine shield. That's uh, good for a warrior or paladin with their uh, weapons. Rare. What's our rare? Give a friendly minion stealth. Master of Disguise again, that's the second one. So once I've gone through all ten of the classes, I'm fairly sure that there are ten. Um, then the idea is to then start making more more in-depth constructed decks with uh, 
rares, epics, and possibly legendaries. Although, to be honest, the ideal number for legendaries is between none and three, or two. So, after you cast a spell, deal one damage to all minions and wild pyromancer. Ooh, Cone of Cold. I don't think we've seen that one before. And that uh, Fairy Dragon can be a little bit annoying unless you've got just a, a blanket board clear. Two rares there. Well, we got Fork Lightning, Loot Hoarder, and another Thought Steel. So that's good. We're up to two Thought Steels now. Ooh, Golden Rare. Explosive Shot. Deal five damage to a minion and two damage to adjacent ones. It's a nice card as well. Nice looking card. And an Aldor Peacekeeper, changing enemy minions attack to one. Fairly good. Fairly good indeed. So yeah, so once we've gone through the basic basic decks, go for more in-depth ones for each of the different classes. Uh, anything interesting here? Mirror Entity, Ice Barrier, Venture Core Mercenary, a little bit hit and miss with the Venture Core Mercenary. It's a good thing to get out late game. Uh, sort of. What's this? A sea giant costs one less for each other minion on the battlefield. Not a big fan of the giants uh, because they just they cost so much, and you can't guarantee that you're going to be able to uh, reduce the mana cost significantly enough for them to be worth using. Restore four health to all minions. Circle of healing. That thing is definitely going in a priest deck because uh, with the Northshire clerics, that becomes amazing. Because you see, it, well, it says all minions, so that means enemy minions as well. But you're going to draw so many cards with that, it's unbelievable. A deadly shot, eye for an eye. When your hero takes damage, deal that much, yep. And give your minions death rattle summon a 2 2 tree end. Well, that's pretty good. Rare. And then our rare upgrade. If you have a weapon, give it plus one, plus one. Otherwise, otherwise equip a 1 3 weapon. So. I've watched other people open packs, and I think on average you do get a legendary per 40 cards. So hopefully we should get at least one legendary today is what I'm hoping for. If I don't get at least one legendary, I'm going to feel slightly uh, slightly gypped. It says choose one, deal two damage, or silence a minion, keeper of the grove. And we have an epic sword of justice. Whenever you summon a minion, give it plus one, plus one, and this loses one durability. That. I played against a friend of mine, Gibsan. He's a big Hearthstone player as well. In fact, I'll probably link his video in the description, his channel in the description, if you want to go and check out some of his Hearthstone videos. But uh, he used his Paladin deck, and he had this thing in, and it was just a nightmare. Because, I mean, say you summon this Dark Iron Dwarf here, and he becomes a 5-5. Nothing you can do about it unless you have an Acidic Swamp Ooze. Obviously, I didn't, so that became a little bit annoying to deal with. What do we have here? In a rage, deal one damage to a minion, give it plus two attack. Nice warrior card there. Another loot hoarder. Uh, another two loot hoarders in the same pack. I think that's about four or five loot hoarders I've got now. And a dire wolf yeah. alpha. Ooh, another murloc. Uh, whenever a murloc is summoned, gain plus one attack. That's pretty handy if you go for a murloc rush deck. Uh, when it comes to these cards here as well, if you've got more than two of a card, you definitely just want to disenchant it because... Uh, Putting a card into a deck doesn't technically use up that card, so you could have two of them, two of them in one deck, two of them in a different deck. So basically, once you've got two of them, oh, three rares. Once you've got two of them, you're pretty much done. You can just disenchant the rest because it can go in multiple decks. Dust Devil, that's pretty handy early on in a game, but I don't really use Shaman that much. Uh, deal four damage to himself, but he is a four-seven for only three mana. Mm, I suppose it'll be fairly good with the with the. Priest, because you can bring him out and then heal him back up to what? Five, so it'd be a four five for three mana. Uh, abomination with death rattle, and another abomination with death rattle. Fair enough. Uh, seem to be getting multiples of some cards here. Right, let's see what we got here. Druid of the Claw, haven't seen that one. Choose one. Charge. Or plus two health and taunt. Hmm, well, that's pretty pretty good, that card, actually, because it's very situational. You can bring him out if you're in trouble and give him taunt and plus two health, or you can give him charge if you just need to get a bit of damage and smack them in the face with it. So that's pretty good. Silverhand Knight, summon a 2 2 Squire. Nah, that thing gets a bit annoying. Shadow Step and a Wind Fury Harpy. And what do we have here? Twilight Drake. Gain one health for each card in your hand. So. 
that's pretty handy for draw decks as well. I'm probably going to put that in my Priest Constructed, because uh, when you get off a combo with an Orshire Cleric and draw a bunch of cards, you can then summon this thing and make it something like a 4-9 like a or a 4-7. It'll be uh, pretty damn powerful. couple of rares here. Ice Barrier, Noble Sacrifice, Power, Overwhelming, give a friendly minion plus four, plus four, until the end of the turn, then it dies horribly. So a nice Warlock card there. It's a good spike in power. Another Wild Pyromancer, and another Ardent, Al Aldor, why am I calling it Ardent? Aldor Peacekeeper, charge, change enemy minions attack to one. Ooh, so a couple of golden commons there. Uh, Bloodsail Raider, another Leper Gnome. I think that's probably only our second one, so I don't know why I'm saying another. Abuse of Sergeant. It can be handy, actually, the Abuse of Sergeant. I'm again thinking of putting that into my Priest Constructed deck just because of the, uh, the buff it gives. It's a 2-1 for 1 mana, so it's fairly good. Uh, Mogashan Warden, and then our Rare, which is a Crazed Alchemist. I'm not a big fan of that card. Uh, what I really want, actually, is I want to draw a Light Spawn, which is a, a 0-5, whose attack is always equal to its health. So with the Power Word Shield, we can buff up the Light Spawn and uh, make it pretty powerful, to be honest. Another Leper Gnome Redemption. Uh, yep. Flame Imp, deal 2 damage to your hero. Bit harsh, but it's only 1 mana for a 3-2. Uh, oh yeah, Soul of the Forest, and what's the rare? We have a Blood Seal Corsair. Remove 1 durability from your opponent's weapon. Oh, that's handy. I suppose we should probably look at maybe a pirate deck and see if that's actually viable. Oh, there we go. That's going to be our first legendary. But we'll we'll savor the um savor it. Well, we've got explosive trap, wargan infiltrator, spell breaker, silence a minion, fairly handy. Bigger than the Iron Beak Owl, but a lot more mana. Destroy a friendly minion, deal its attack damage to all enemy minions. Wow. That's, uh... That could be fairly awesome. Wow, a golden legendary as well. The Beast. Death Rattle. Summon a 3-3 three, three Finkel Einhorn for your opponent. Okay. So it's a 9-7 for 6 mana, but when it dies, the enemy gets a 3-3. Three, three. So, a little bit situational whether it'll be worth it or not. But nice that our first legendary is a golden. And that was pretty much halfway through our pack opening. So we may not see another one, but we'll see. Uh, shield bearer, not for taunt. Silence a minion, then deal 1 damage to it. Fairly good earth shock. Uh, Acolyte of Pain. Whenever this minion takes damage, draw a card. That's pretty good for a priest deck, again, because you can do a little bit damage, then heal it up, do a little bit damage, then heal it up, and if the enemy doesn't deal with it, then it's going to get out of hand. Uh, and that's the very situational yeah. druid card. And another questing adventurer, so at least we've got one of these to disenchant now. But to be honest, the, the idea that I've got in the back of my mind with the... Um, the priest constructed deck is it's going to summon the kind of creatures like that acolyte of pain and the quest adventure that if the enemy doesn't deal with them immediately then they've got the potential to just get ridiculously out of hand so basically the if the enemy doesn't have board clear you are just going to overwhelm them uh, fairly quickly argent commander uh, with charge and divine shield pretty good but very high mana cost for its attack and defense doom hammer so we've got the shaman doom hammer it's got Wind Fury and Overlord 2. Two attack with uh, 8 defense, but again, it attacks twice in a turn. That's pretty good, actually, Doom Hammer. Golden common. Just one rare here, but a Golden Common, which is what Forked Lightning. We're getting a lot of Shaman cards. Or maybe I'm just registering them more, so it feels like we're getting more Shaman cards. Haven't seen Slam before. Deal 2 damage to a minion. If it survives, draw a card. Alright, so that's the kind of thing you do to your own minions, maybe. Uh, or maybe not. Ooh, Ravenholt Assassin. I'm sure that's in... Um, oh, what's the place with uh, South Shore and Taran Mill? Oh, it's completely... Trisful Glades! I'm sure Ravenholt's in Trisful Glades. But, uh, I'm sure someone will correct me if that is not the case. Oh, another epic! Well, we got Wargan Infiltrator. Summoning Portal. That can be fairly useful in a Warlock deck. 
Deal one damage to a minion and give it a plus two attack in a rage. Fairly good. Rare. Our rare is a Doom Guard. It's got charge and discard two random cards. Well, that's a bit harsh, but it's only five mana for a five seven with charge. Uh, and our legendary hey. is King Muckler. Battle cry, give your opponent two bananas. Uh, so yeah, King Muckler's pretty damn good. Uh, he's only three mana for a 5-5. Five, five. But I'm pretty sure the banana cards that it gives the enemy, or the minions, or whatever they are, I'm sure they actually do something. But what you can do is, obviously, because the hand limit in this game is 10, with Muckler throwing two bananas at them per turn, uh, you can fill up your opponent's hand pretty quick. And that's, what's that, a golden shield bearer? Ooh, a, a flesh-eating ghoul. Whenever a minion dies, gain plus one attack. A Marnie Berserker. I have two of those already, so I'll probably disenchant that one. Whenever a minion takes damage, gain plus one attack. That's, pro that's quite good. It's warrior only, though. And um, what's this one? Petition's Blade. Battle Cry. Deal one damage. Combo. Deal two damage instead. Nice. Never played the Rogue yet, so I'm not really sure how the combo system works. Uh, but when I come to do the Rogue basic deck, obviously I'll look into it for you guys. Uh, more of the same. Torum Warrior, Mad Bombers. Oh, another Doom Guard. So the Warlock Constructed deck's already taken shape. Oh, another Epic. What's that? Betrayal. All enemy, uh, an enemy minion deals its damage to the minions next to it. That could be quite handy for a rogue. Uh, what's this? 1-1 one, one with Divine Shield. Mirror Entity. Rare. Our rare is Flare. All minions lose stealth. Destroy all enemy secrets and draw a card. Wow. A little bit situational. Which is why I think... Um, I think... They may... It may be a good idea to introduce uh, what Magic the Gathering uses which is in tournaments, which is a sideboard. So when you see who you come up against, you can swap out some cards. Because that will be good against a rogue and possibly a mage or another hunter. And what's this? Shield Slam. Deal one damage to a minion for each armor you have. Wow, that could be uh, that could get out of hand if you allow a, a, a warrior to stack up a lot of armor. Oh, three rares here. Lightning, Shadow Stair. Uh, a Violet Teacher. Whenever you cast a spell, summon a 1 1 Violet Apprentice. Good for mages. Or anybody else who casts spells. Twilight Drake. Yep. Said I want to crowbar that into my Priest Constructed deck somehow. And Blizzard, deal 2 damage to all enemy minions and freeze them. That is such a pain in the arse. That one. What we got here? Rampage. Give a damage minion plus three, plus three. Yeah, I've been caught short by that a couple of times. Another Dust Devil, another Earth Shock, Eviscerate. Deal two damage. Combo, deal four damage instead. And another Demolisher. Right, we're into the home stretch now. Just ten to go. What have we got? One rare by the looks of it. Uh, another Dire Wolf, Mana Worm, whenever you cast a spell, gain plus one attack. Another Mirror Entity, Sense Demons, put two random demons from your deck into your hand. Pretty good, yeah. for a Warlock, obviously. Uh, injured Blade Master, that's the one who deals damage to himself. Well, he's not injured until he comes into play, so really, you might want to change his name to Idiotic Blade Master. What we got here? Ice Barrier, as soon as your heroes attack, gain eight armor, that's fairly useful. Freeze a character. If it was already frozen, deal 4 damage instead. Can't be targeted. Freezing trap. And... An angry chicken. Enrage. Plus 5 attack. Now, I always look at that card when I do arena and I think, should I take it? Should I not? Because obviously if you can give it a buff like Power Word Shield, which ups its attack, uh, ups its health, and then it takes a little bit of damage. Plus 5 attack for 1 mana is amazing. But it's just... It's too risky. It's never going to work, let's face it. It's going to work maybe 1 in 20 times, and the other 19 times it's just going to be a wasted card in your hand. Uh, deadly Shot, Festering Ghoul. Yep, everything we've seen before. And another Argent Commander with Charge and Divine Shield. No, oh, just one rare this time. Golden. 
Oh, a golden common, though. A golden shadow step. Return a friendly minion to your hand. It costs two less. Pretty good. Oh, what's that? Pair of the wild. Choose one. Give your minions plus one, plus one, or summon a three, two panther. Pretty good card. Whenever a friendly beast dies, gain plus two, plus one. Now, that I definitely want to get into the Hunter Basic deck. Uh, Stranglethorn Tiger and Starfall. Choose one. Deal five damage to a minion or two damage to all enemy minions. Mm, pretty nice for the druid there. Nice bit of direct removal or board clear if they've just got little minions out. Another Scavenging Hyena, a uh, Thralmar Farseer, a 2 3 with Wind Fury. There's the Iron Beak L that I was talking about earlier. Silence a minion for uh, it's a 2 1. What's that? A frothing berserker. Whenever a minion takes damage, gain plus one attack. All right. Oh, and a golden rare. The first minion you play each turn costs one less. Pint sized summon. And then for the price, only being two mana, it's only a 2 2, but that might be handy in the priest deck as well with the amount of low cost creatures and uh, card draw that you're going to be doing. Down the last five packs here. Oh, another epic! So let's open the regulars. There we go, a light spawn. That's what I wanted. This minion's attack is always equal to its health. So what you can do is uh, obviously give it the power word shield, which puts it up to seven. With another power word shield, you're up to nine. Then uh, you've got the card which doubles a minion's health. You could put it to 18, and then it becomes an 18 18. Obviously, then the enemy can just play it, destroy this minion. Uh, but obviously, if you've got two of them in there, and you can get them to waste them. Uh, abusive Sergeant. Let's see what our rare is. Savagery. Deal damage equal to your hero's attack to a minion. Not going to be that good for anything that doesn't have weapons, really. Oh, the Prophet Valen. It's a priest only epic. Double the damage and healing of your spells and hero power. That could be fairly good. It's a 7 7 for 7 mana. All the 7s. Uh, having 4 healing a turn for 2 mana could be pretty damn good. Or two damage or four damage a turn with um, shadow form. I don't really have that many damaging spells apart from the uh, the uh, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but the one that deals two damage. So probably not going to use him. Let's have a look what we've got here. Thralmar, Harvest Golem, Betrayal. Nothing we haven't seen before, and an Aldor Peacekeeper. Oh, an epic. Mogashan Warden, the 1-7 with Taunt. Now, I toyed with the idea of putting those in, but one attack. I mean, yeah, it's a big wall to try and get through, but it just, for the mana cost, it doesn't really seem worth it. Silence, silence a minion for zero mana. Well, that's fairly good. Priest only. Uh, Master of Disguise. I think we've had that one before. And the epic is Bane of Doom. Deal two damage to a character. If that kills it, summon a random demon. Well, that's fairly powerful. And here we go, the penultimate pack. Another loot hoarder, Frost Elemental. Don't think we've seen that. Battle Cry, freeze a character. It's a 5-5 five, five for six mana. Thrall Malfarsi, a betrayal. And whenever a character is healed, gain plus two attack. Light Warden. Hmm. That is going to be very handy here in a priest constructed deck. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The last pack of the day. Let's make it a special one. No, it's not at all. It's just one rare. Argent Protector we've seen. Argent Squire. Frost Elemental. Mark of Nature. Choose one. Give a minion plus four attack or plus four health and taunt. Fairly good for a druid. And our rare is an Ancient Mage. Give adjacent minion spell damage plus one. So that is it for for our cards. Again, not finished with the Custom Warlock yet. But what we can do is uh, see what extra cards we've got. We've got 50 extra common cards. Three extra rare cards. And that's going to net us 310 dust. There we go. So out of that, we got ourselves... Uh, we got ourselves three legendaries. We got ourselves King Muckler. Uh, that fella there. We got ourselves the Beast. And we got ourselves the Prophet Valen. 
and we also netted ourselves a decent amount of other cards and 310 dust. I uh, just want to go ahead and delete all that. So now I'm toying with the idea of sp uh, what is it? Crafting another light spawn. How much would that be to craft? That would only be 40 dust. So once I go to make the priest constructed, then uh, definitely probably going to have to create another light spawn. It's only a common, which is why it's uh, fairly cheap. But anyway, I'm waffling on now, way past what I intended to do. That is it for this Hearthstone video. I hope you've enjoyed being along for the ride with the ups and downs of opening 40 packs of Hearthstone cards. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a like or favourite. Stick a comment in the comment section down below letting me know exactly what you thought. I've been Maxwell. This has been Hearthstone. And I will catch you guys next time.